Hi, I'm Chef David Janke, and today I want to show you how to make a very rich, flavorful, umami rich fish broth. Making a fish broth is a little bit different than making a meat broth or a poultry broth. A few ingredients change and the cooking time changes too. And uh, why is that? Well, first of all, if we would cook the fish overcook and just like cook it too much, the fish particles, the meat and everything would just like fall apart and get mashed and turn into like kind of like a puree inside our broth and even we strain it it will be like a very dark, dirty broth. And we have to think about that that technique basically, or where we use those broths to making certain kind of fish sauces, or let's say use the broth for steaming or poaching processes, we wanna have a clear broth. So we try always to put a lot of intention to that, to not overcook it. I would say probably let's say, let's cook your broth 30 minutes on low fire, and then after I would just like let it sit for another 30 minutes with the covered lid on it and that's it then strain it. We don't have to cook it more. I, would have, I wouldn't make a fish broth in a pressure cooker and because of that short cooking time we also have to cut our vegetables very small so we can extract all the flavors from them in that short cooking time. No? We're using here some different fish bones. You can use any kind of fish bones, fish hearts, and um, they have a great flavor, lots of meat. Just wash them a lot, take off all the scales, everything. Wash them always with cold water. And we have some flounder here, we have some salmon trout, and um, we have a grouper, and bones and hearts of each of them, and some cuts off. And when we were like doing the fillet process, we always wanna keep them. It's like they have lots of flavor, of course. It's umami flavor. Look up below the video, I will add additional information about umami, natural umami ingredients. There's free chemicals and we want to focus on those because umami is the fifth flavor, which are all the other four flavors together. One chemical is of course always in bones, so we already have one chemical here. One is always in dehydrated mushrooms. Here I'm using a white porcini type, white again to not make our broth such a dark color like some of other mushrooms could do. I'm using um, the other third umami chemicals which are like basically fresh or fermented products and those it's for example in leek, in onion, in celery, in pearl onion, in green onion, in celery root, in garlic, in tomato, all this is natural umami chemical too so I'm going to use, I'm going to use them all. I'm going to use also some carrots, here I choose some yellow carrots so they don't make my broth too orange because already the trout will make that a little bit to orange color and also when we use fish from the ocean which have eaten microalgae, they probably have a fat amount which could swim on the top of your broth so just like as a chicken broth we have to clean that off no besides i'm using here a little bit of white wine use a dry white wine and some sea salt some cloth some peppercorn and some bay leaf so I have to cut everything very small, I have to cut the bones and chop the bones small to 50 gram pieces, wash them again with cold water and then I will cut all the vegetables very small, even like a lemon I will add, the citrus flavor comes nice and I also will add some herbs, fresh herb, dill or fennel you can add and well beside that I'm going to cut everything very small, get everything with cold water together into a cooking pot, very important so it can strain out very nice and slowly we give the heat to drain out all the flavors of it. We let it cook for 30 minutes and then we, after we let it sit for 30 minutes and then we would strain it and we have a nice fish broth, no? If you wanna now make that more intense in flavor or clear, clarified, you have to clarify it and that's another culinary technique. But let me show you first how to make all those steps to make the broth.